Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain Tops of 9 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So, are they gonna show Tommy Key getting her ass kicked again? I don't really want to see that. She's like second best girl, and I really don't. No, like third best girl, but still, I don't want to see her getting her ass kicked to her again, honestly. Man, Rika, fuck you, you son of a bitch. My god, she was so fucking cute. So stupid. Oh my god, give her a fucking hug, please. You don't even really need to show the opening. You can just continue the damn episode. Oh my god. But you see, the weirdest thing I was thinking about between last Friday going on to this Friday, and especially after seeing that moment into the past where she is really still around Rika, it makes you wonder, like, the infernals that were there, you know, he, he possibly could have set it up too, because it makes you really look at any infernals that he was around a little differently than before episode eight and nine. Like coming, going back and looking at episode episode seven, and then coming to eight and nine, I, I'm just like, bruh, I don't, I, I, I don't like him. I really liked him at first, and I thought he was a very interesting character, and then nothing was really wrong with him. But no, you always really got to suspect anyone and everyone in a fucking group, no matter how sweet and innocent they fucking look, because ne you never know who in the world could be fucking two-timing. Now, do I feel like there's somebody else 
Maybe. It, it can't just be just him. I mean, come on. He's probably maybe told the truth to someone else besides Tamaki now way before her and slowly but surely they're teaming up. I'm just saying. That's just my guess. I don't know. <clears throat> so can we just kill him, please? He killed the mom. He need to go. See, I also want Tamaki to maybe do something, but at the same time, no. It, it's kind of her fight, but then at the same time, no. She just needs to stay there, but I really want her to get some ass, too. Is he gonna do what I think he's gonna do? Your mm, probably a lot. Wait, Shinra. <laughs> I mean, but damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> Please. You sure you don't want backup? You just want to do everything by yourself?
see if this is the one time that I kind of wish Arthur was here just just to help him. Even though Shinra is going to kick his ass at the end of this episode, but still. there's You can always have help him just me. Honestly, that should fucking kill him. But if that does not fucking kill him, I don't know what the fuck is. Honestly. I mean, at least take the children out. God damn it. Why can't you just stay down? Of course. Okay, this Aaron Gallery. I can't even pronounce it right. That has to be a fucking cult. It has to be. False God, false motherfucking prophet. I'm sorry. Y'all should have been gotten the fuck out of here. Like, when he went down, like, yes, stick them out! Probably. Holy shit, his eyes.
Mm -hmm. Oh, he dead now. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Damn. Doesn't matter. Get the fuck up out of there. Mm -hmm. So you just go then. No. Yeah. A cult. That's what they are. Thank you. Well, holy fucking shit. Okay. 
Number one, was I expecting Rekka to die in this episode? Yes. But at the same time, if he did not die in this episode and he was actually captured, stayed in the crystal, they would have melted the ice maybe just a little bit up to where like his shoulders are just to get his head out. And they could have sat and asked him a whole bunch of questions. But honestly, I think that would have been a little too easy if they did that because the next thing you know, the people who killed him, the rest of his, um, of the cult members of what he's part of probably would have found him and killed him right then there. So no matter what, it, he still would have died, even if they caught him and brought him in for questioning. But if they truly did, I think it would have been a lot easier because then they would have been able to, with his help in a way, find certain things. But of course, you can't do that because why? It's too fucking easy and you got to be fucking hard. And at the same time, you can't be having obvious answers and questions all be answered in one damn episode. You gotta wait several fucking episodes just to get answers. But, bruh, I, like, okay, so one of them is a woman and the other one is a man. The woman was the one who was firing the arrows, and I want to know about the guy, too, but I, I got a lot of questions. I wonder who their commander slash leader is. It could be someone else who is in any of the other forces, possibly, because, I mean, if Rekka is a traitor. How many other traitors are there in so many other areas? There could be several more. And it could be right under their fucking noses. What's wrong? So, she has to be here. Oh my god, Chimnik, you idiot! <laughs> No, no, no. What the fuck? Mm-mm. <laughs> the fact that Tommy is gonna be around for a little while, let's see. I mean, I do ship them, like, Tommy Key and Turner together because, I mean, they have... It's not the sexual tension, not only that, it's just the funny moments that these two have with each other. Like, I fucking can't. It's too much. It's so fucking stupid, but I love them so much. But honestly, really... If there was someone else in any of the other freaking forces that could be a part of this cult, they haven't been shown yet, maybe, or they have, and they're just going to wait for the right time to make their big, kind of grand entrance, but, it, you know, it's not going to be, like, too, too grand to be like, oh, hey, here's a sign saying, oh, hey, booyah, I'm a traitor, fam. I mean, because, like, with Rika, I, I wouldn't have assumed, like, going back a couple episode, episodes ago, I was always looking at him like, no, I don't think he seems like a bad guy, but then, you know, going into 8, 9, 
and learning the truth about him, it's like, damn, you really have to look at everybody. And I'm not only saying, you know, everyone from one through seven, I'm kind of looking at some characters in eight too, even though, yes, I do trust everybody in eight, like so freaking much. And it's like, there's no way in hell that anyone on this team could be a traitor. So, I mean, and then you got princess, but princess is okay. And her, you know, her squad, and they're okay. But then you have to literally look at everyone else, as I said. So, whenever we have everyone, how many ever, like, this is probably going to be over, like, 100 people. Maybe about, like, 100, 250, maybe 200 people all together. You kind of really have to look at them one at a time and just kind of give a guess of who could all be a traitor. Because, like I said, I do feel like there's more than one. Because it it couldn't just be just Rika. Rika couldn't be doing all this shit by himself. So somebody else had to be, um, you know, flip flopping as well. And we probably haven't seen he or she just yet. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episode nine of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode ten. Bye, guys.